Hi everyone, I want to talk to you today about my Results M Sculpt Neo. I had this done at Intervene MD in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. I had my abdomen done, my flanks, my glutes, and I also received the M Stella treatment, which helps strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. Um, it definitely hurt at first. Um, I had to go at the really lo low setting um, and gradually build up. Um, every area that had like a tight knot or had any sort of like dysfunctional muscles, they definitely hurt a lot more um, than any other area. Um, the, I really felt my abs contract. Um, so the other areas, I didn't really feel as much. Um, the obliques were really hard to get because I'm a small individual. Um, but I definitely felt the abs the most. Like I definitely felt like my glutes contracting, but I didn't feel like it was activating the same way um, as the abdominal muscles were, where it felt like my deep core was activating and it felt like something I never activated before versus the glutes, it kind of felt like I was squeezing my glutes. Um, so my last treatment, um, I, the, I did four rounds. So four on the abdomen, four on the glutes, four on the obliques. Um, and then I did, I think it was eight Amcella treatments. And my last treatment day was December 29th, 2023. And I have um, the in-body results um, to kind of like gauge like how much my weight was, my muscle, my body fat, visceral fat, because I can decrease visceral fat. Um, this was done December 19th. My weight was at 110 pounds. I had um, 43 pounds of muscle, my body fat mass is 30.9, my body fat percentage was at 28.1, and my visceral fat was at 5. Um, three months later, I came in and did my in-body score again, and I am, uh, this is the date of 4-9. I did go up in weight. I was at 113.2 pounds, so I went up 3.2 pounds. My muscle went up by 0.4. My body fat mass went up by um, 3.2 pounds. It went up to 34.1. Body fat percentage was at 30.1. It went up by 2%. My visceral fat stayed the same at five. Um, and so during these three months, I was dieting and working out. I've been bodybuilding, um, trying to get more muscle while reduce my body fat percentage. You can see that um, it's kind of working, <laughs> um, but not great. Um, I've been teetering a lot, um, but um, if you went back with every single month, I did go, I'd been going there every single month and looking at it. Um, I actually had um, decreased my body fat um, and my muscle a bit um, in, the, in between months. And so this last month I was actually able to gain 0.8 pounds of muscle um, compared with March. So that was a significant um, change for me because uh, I've been fluctuating so much the last like three to four months of working out and dieting. But overall, I can see that there is a difference. Um, even with me being at higher weight, my abdomen did shrink. And you can see a little bit of definition, um, not much. Um, it didn't like give me like abs or anything. Um, my glutes definitely lifted. Um, and they're more muscular um, and my waist did go in. I think though I would need a lot more treatments to really see huge changes. Um, so probably I would need at least eight and then probably go in for touch-ups um, every three months or so if I feel like I need it. Um, overall it did make a difference but it's 
not the biggest difference. It looks like you, it's something you would really need to invest a lot of money and time in since it is something you have to go in once a week for um, back to back to really see the biggest improvements. So that's a lot of time and money. Um, overall, it did help. Um, I felt like I was able to activate my muscles a little bit better because I had a weaker core and weaker glutes. Um, and so I have been making some gains um, with my lifting and that has been wonderful. Um, I have noticed a huge difference actually with Emsella. I did have pain in my pelvic floor. I had um, experienced pudendal neuralgia and been seeing a physical therapist for off and on for three years because I had injured my obturator internus on both sides. Um, and so I was having a lot of pelvic floor dysfunction and pain um, with intercourse and just um, in general when it was really bad, I was just basically in pain all the time. Um, and that actually really helped. I'm not having as much pain and sensitivity. I think that's something I probably will do. Um, whenever I'm having some sort of flare um, with um, with my pain. I just, it's just never really fully went away, um, even with physical therapy. So um, I think it might just be a lifelong battle for me. Um, but Emsella was definitely something I think made a huge difference um, and would recommend everyone um, try that out. But I will be linking um, pictures at the end so you can see the difference. Thanks everyone for watching.